Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Custom here, and I'm back with a new video. And today, I'm back with another Mindplex interview. Today, I'm going to be interviewing a Mindplex artist, which is someone who makes art for Mindplex for their shop, for the social media. Today, I'm going to be interviewing Sai. Their username is CY underscore. And I'm going to get straight into it so I don't waffle on. But. I'm going to give them a chance to give a brief outline of who they are, first of all. Yo. So, I'm Sai. I'm the Mindplex server artist, so to speak. Tentative title. I create the announcement art, the shop art. Social media, well, I guess they do that. They don't have to, but they do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, I've got eight questions from me and two community questions to ask you today. But I'm gonna get straight into the first question that I want to ask you. So the first question is, how long have you been making art for Mindplex? About a year on and off. So it's like, how it works is that I'm given uh, like a list of briefs. Well, it gradually it got to a, a list of briefs because the other artists left. Um, so I've been, I'm given like a list of briefs with deadlines on what to do and I just make sure I get it done before then. And it has been kind of touch and go because sometimes they don't use the art. God damn it. But anyway. <laughs> so yeah. what inspired you to start drawing? And a lot of people that I've talked to who do art has had sort of an inspiration which started them to like, start drawing either in real life or on the computer. So what inspired you? I've been drawing since I could pick up a pencil, so I don't really know. Uh, I don't know, it's just like, it's really satisfying to be able to like, put all, put your all into creating a piece and knowing that, you know, like, it's just something like really gratifying to have something that made with all of your, your effort to just look really nice. Yeah, that's all I can say. So a lot of people that actually want to start doing art don't really know what they should draw with. So what do you draw with? First of all, I'm just going to say that anything I use will not make you better. Just don't assume that the things I'm going I use will make you better because everyone has their own work style. I'm just going to put that out there because yeah. I've been asked that a bunch of times and it's like, "No, you don't buy what I use because it's expensive. Don't invest in the thing that's really expensive if you're only going to use it once and then you're going to put it away and never use it for a really, really long time. Anyway, I use a Wacom Cintiq 13 HD and the programs I use, I mainly use Paint Tool Side to make work for Mindplex, but I can also use Photoshop, but that's pretty rare because it feels weird to draw with. And I also have like Clip Studio, but I still need to experiment with that thing. Yep. Yeah, so obviously your main focus is Mindplex, but do you actually play in games? So what is your favourite Mindplex game? Draw my thing. <laughs> Out oh, of, what like, a surprise. There's oh, like no surprise. <laughs> Basically, out of the 138 games or so I played on Minecraft, on Mindplex, it's like 111 of them are all draw my thing. I have no regrets. <laughs> <sighs> it's Do you just have like the achievements for, for at, my like, at a, like at a certain point, draw my thing becomes like a memory game, sort of. It's kind of surprising to me because like I play a game and it's like, why are you people not reading the hint that is above the hot bar? Because if you guess the hint, you can guess the word, even if the person kind of, you know, stuffs up drawing the thing in the first place. Like if they draw yeah. one of those inappropriate images, which is always fantastic. Yeah, mm. but like. Up to a certain point, if enough letters appear on the thing, you can guess it. It's fine. What are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, draw my thing. There's no, no surprise, no tricks pulled. That's pretty much it. What is the best mm -hmm. thing about being an artist for Mindplex? I guess it's kind of having an insight into the things that Mindplex creates for the community, in a sense, because it's like, they have to churn out like new different content every time and then once in a while it's like wow they're actually gonna do that like when they did like the power play like power morph thing i was like literally handed a picture of iron man 
in like the metal, like mostly metal esque colored thing, and I was like, ah. okay, I guess I'll just draw it. I guess I'm not gonna question it. Did they normally so, yeah. tell you what it's for? Oh yeah, the, yeah. I'll have like um, it's a brief where I have the title of what it is and deadline, obviously, and then I have like a really short brief about what it's about, what the thing is about. So then it gives me a good idea of how to approach the artwork from the thing. And I would say it's kind of fun because I get to like make up a whole bunch of different interpretations to like best communicate what they're trying to sell kind of thing. Like, like my belief is that if you create an image, if it tells a story and people understand that story in the moment that they look at it, there's like, you become involved with the work in itself and it becomes more fun to enjoy kind of thing, I guess. Yeah. This is totally like going off on a tangent, but yeah. So what is the artist rank exactly? And uh, do you have like a team suit rank or an in-game rank with it? So the artist rank is a rank that represents all the freelance artists that work for Mindplex. The other one is Mechanen. And he's like the 3D modeler texture texture maker. So he made like all the Mind Strike skins and the gun oh, yeah. models. Mm -hmm. um, so we're not staff technically, but we kind of are. So don't find me if you want me to ban people. I don't do that, <laughs> please. Uh, mm, so yeah, it's like, it's mainly a forum rank now. It used to be called media. I don't know why, but it was. Um, and the problem with that was that people kept confusing it with this uh, media team. We don't do things for free. The media team does it for free. We don't. So I got it got changed to artist. And it yeah, so it only exists as a forum rank in game. I just have ultra. That's like the bonus I have with having the artist rank. So yeah. Um, Did you get given I don't. Ultra? Yeah, it's just yeah, like it's bonus. Cool. Yeah, it's just a side bonus, which is nice. Yeah. Because then I don't get spammed. <laughs> uh, I don't have a team spirit bag. I forgot to ask. Hey. <laughs> so, a lot of people are confused. Where can you actually apply for artist? Or is it not like an application process? Do you get picked? Or do you ask like a higher up staff member about it? The way I got in was very sketchy. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um... You can't, like right now, they're not looking for any more artists, so don't go bugging the leadership team. It's uh, invite only because, of course, they have to like have someone of the drawing capability to like make the artwork look professional enough. And it's also a matter of like whether I personally can handle the current workload. And I'm doing okay on my own, so they're not like, so they're, we're doing okay. Um, but I think for like a period of time, if you want to apply for artists, it's like it's better to approach like me, because I can like directly go to the leadership and be like, "Hey, this person is actually pretty good. You could hire them probably, maybe." But I don't yeah. know. Yeah. So, what advice would you give to improve artwork of people who like to draw? This is gonna be a fun long talk. <laughs> um. So this is mostly stuff I learned from my professors in our college, but it's like, it's very, very useful to uh, go off of. So the first and foremost thing is always using references. Like, what are you doing if you're not using reference? Don't draw from your imagination if you don't know how to draw a thing. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> because then it's like, you have like a solid reference. You know, there's like something that it already exists and that you can go off of to create your own thing. And it's like, what you do is you create like, you get like a whole bunch of different references. It's not supposed to look like the thing you're trying to make, but it will all like influence and inspire your creation so that it looks better because you are the one who chose those references in the first place. So it's gonna, re it's gonna slowly help you work your artwork into your ideal kind of thing. Um, but besides that, it's also, good to have an understanding of like basic structures and like shape construction because it's like 
like much like using the references, a lot of art is based on reality. Like that's why it's like if you go way back to caveman times or whatever, they're just like drawing based on life anyway. So look at like a lot of things around you, save all the things that you like, and like you know, get all the inspiration and whatever. Yeah. So but yeah, it's just a, it's just a general like good、uh, have an understanding of. Mm. What you want to draw? Yeah, yeah. Just like oh, and also it's um, there's no shame in asking for help. I'm just、yeah. saying, don't be that one person who just like who's like, I'm gonna be an amazing person who doesn't look for reference because I'm so bad. It's like no one cares. <laughs> just saying, they really don't care. All they look at look for is like your final result. They don't care like how you got there. They want to know like. They want to look at your next thing, and the best way to do that is honestly to ask like someone else because it's like they give you a fresh pair of eyes to look at your work. It's someone who hasn't been like as involved as your thing as you are. So if you're trying to communicate something complicated, like a like an illustration with a story attached to it, like say I would draw like a person going through an emotional journey in their past life, <laughs> I would do it like. I would draw the thing, and then I would show it to a friend and ask them if it makes sense. Cause it's it's just really good to get feedback in general. Like, yeah, because everyone has their own different experiences, and learning from other people's experiences will en- enrich your own, and you can always use that to inspire other people as well. So it's like this great network of feedback that's really good.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm gonna move on to the community questions now. I've got two community questions that I want to ask you. So, the first one is, what is the best thing about the Mindplex community? I haven't really delved into the community that much, but I would say that it's a very nice and semi-positive. <laughs> it's it's pretty good environment in general, and I appreciate it. Like because I almost I mostly post to like the art forums. Like I see art that I feel like could use some feedback, so I just make a post on it. It's like Like once in a while, I get like a post that makes me really happy that people have recognized that like what I say has been useful to them, kind of thing. So、yeah. it's not like, so it's not like I'm just like mindlessly doing something for the sake of like self benefit or something. It's just like acknowledgement and the general like, if they if people want to stand up for each other, they'll stand up for each other. They're okay with like. Being open and talking about things that they can like improve the community and stuff like that. So yeah, I would say it's pretty nice. So the last community question I want to ask you is actually a really good one, and that is, what was your reaction when you got artist rank, and who messaged you the offer? <laughs> okay, so I blanked, as you do, and I was like. Wait, what? Because at the time I was really intimidated of Tris, and you shouldn't be because he is like the weirdest, nicest person ever. <laughs> and I was like,、huh, this is like a really important person, really high up in the ranks who I've never talked to before, and I'm suddenly given this opportunity to work for them. I'm like, I cannot stuff this up, no. But I was like really happy because I honestly didn't expect that to happen.、Um, Because I didn't know like what their like standards for art was. Cause yeah. yeah, yeah. But I was pretty happy. Yeah, just being acknowledged that my art was good enough to be used for like to be paid for and used in the community. Yeah. So, <laughs>、um, yeah. That concludes today's interview. If you have any more questions, comment them down below or PM them to、um, CY. And I'm sure they will respond to you. But、yep. today, that is the end of the interview. I hope you guys have enjoyed this interview. I hope it wasn't dragging too much because I know sometimes I waffle on, and nah, that isn't really the best. That isn't really the best thing to listen to me、nah, waffling. But... Honestly, I think I was the one who was talking more because <laughs> I was like, I suddenly think of a thing that's elaborate. <laughs> so. That concludes it, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. 
like and comment. Peace out. And subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe.